Thundra comes from a time where science got to the point where women began to use genetic enhancements to become the physical equals of men. In turn, men used radiation to retain their edge and became infertile. That's where Thundra comes from, or the history she comes from. Imagine being so obsessed with strength that you go to one of the strongest men in the world, Hulk, scrape some DNA out of his cheek, even though they could have just simply did the do. They have intimacy issues in this timeline with the women and men. She wanted the best genetics as possible so she can get a pregnant for the first time in decades in her in her era to get like a mix of Thunder and Hulk. Yeah, powerful. Hulk just got kids walking around in all different type parts of the world. Other than the fact that she was genetically engineered to be stronger than ever, durability wise, whatever her strength is, her durability should match up because her body can withstand the recoil and can take firearms and stuff of that such. When it comes to characters like Thundra, they call her the She-Witch, the Femazon. She's one of those characters that's from another reality, technically a possible future, you know, possible futures that usually don't, never happen. So people just label them an alternate reality from Earth 715 at first and then later on just kind of becoming canon in the 616 i mean i guess when you spend majority of your comic book career in 616 you kind of just become known as the 616 person you know they even talk about the time travel shenanigans here with medusa and inhuman character talking about i don't really exist or the dominant gender a land ruled by femazons among who she was the strongest and brave and the most powerful kind of like wonder woman if she was in Marvel, kind of, sort of, to some degree, maybe, sort of, some extremities here and there. She talks about how the different timelines work right here, how there's like an infinite number of different realities based on the different choices you made. She even talks about the alternate realities where the men rule and then another one where the women rule. That's what Thunder just came in. She said she, they said she must go back into the past to find and battle the Earth's most powerful man. And that's when she came across beings like the Thing, who's a brute powerhouse among the heavy hitters. She's one of those characters that's a good fighter, military trained since the age of eight, multiple forms of armed and unarmed combat. They pretty much tell you all the stuff I just said right here about her, or Earth 715. Yeah, so pretty much all the information you need about her here, about her super strength and everything. And this is the moment where Thundra officially became canon, to where the natural forces want, this is their way of explaining it, the natural forces her wanted to stay on the planet where the sexes were equal by choice. But the thing is glad that Thundra is going to be sticking around. So yeah, so she's just kind of 616 officially at this point. Thundra started off as a feminazi kind of, but... She kind of started having a crush on the thing. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, she really be wanting the thing. Talking about he will be hers one day. Ain't that funny? She wants the thing. Imagine being such a warrior with such strength when Red Hulk wants to recruit you. That's Thundra for you. But how strong is this mighty being known as Thundra? You can see her fighting skills with different projectiles or weapons. How she uses this chain to swing around the thing first to do an attack with her skills. Like on some Kratos stuff. You can get an idea of her skills, how this guy flips in the air, slinging him like that, even kneeing during a grapple hold, street fighter style, not afraid of using pieces of a clock, it's like a melee weapon on top of the chain she always wears. In this particular case, you can see her using swords in combat. She's got skills at wrestling, not afraid of grappling and training sessions, not afraid to mix her skills with her raw strength. Look at the kind of holes she have you in. She just likes fighting, sending everybody flying out of the ring you can see her fighting skills in battle like this suplex see how she got the thing on the ground here elbows knocking the wind out of them using her legs in combat along with having skilled swordsmanship she's not afraid of using guns i'm assuming super special type of guns to do stuff like this any weapon you can think of she can use energy projector staffs steal your weapon from you and stab you with your own trident all kind of stuff like that notice how on some occasions she has her chains wrapped around her armor in a certain way to where she can kind of extend it for a farther range if she wants to having more than enough chain for the different scenarios is what comes in handy and during battle clear example is using her chain as long range attack to grab your neck skills using this chain against doc samson here using melee weapons like in this occasion like axes to cut beings in half she spins her weapon around like thor's hammer like in this occasion she's strong enough to where when vehicles are being tossed in the air she can straight up punch them and break them apart she's physically strong enough to use a chain and swing the thing around confident about her strength to where she wants to fight the strongest men on earth that's why she's fighting the thing here she's strong enough to where even characters like medusa use her hair on her strong enough to get out of her hair and swing the medusa around with her hair implied she can lift up heavy stuff like this on this cover with her strength her strength is described as being strong as a freight train they compare her speed to a freight train Sandman, she's strong enough to throw you away. Thundra is strong enough to rip steel like this and pick it up with her brute strength. This is another clean example of her like matching blows with the strength of the thing, lifting up big stuff like this in combat, lifting up these weights with ease. It's just too many cases of her and the thing scuffling it out with strength. The thing I have videos about on my channel and is one of the most underrated characters of all time. She really obsessed with fighting the strongest men on the world. If she feels like she got a physical crazy advantage, she won't even fight you if you're depowered because she wants to fight you at your best. Like in this occasion, when 
when the thing got temporarily depowered. She was like, no, nah, I can't beat you like this. You know she's strong when the Incredible Hulk asked, why are you so strong? And back when Marvel attempted to actually make tears when it comes to heavyweights, they had Hulk and Thor, Hercules, Wonder Man in the super heavyweights while they had Thundra right there in the weights with Black Bolt and Strength, Doc Samson, Namor, the thing. Like, that kind of makes sense on her strength class. For obvious reasons, I don't take these as Bible because why the heck is Silver Surfer in the super medium weights? Uh, yeah, that, yeah, it's just something to think about, even though I wouldn't take some of these as Bible. She's not afraid to pull up on the Hulk, strong enough to help the thing stop a train on the spot with her raw strength. Notice how she's around the same size of the thing when it comes to height and stuff. Since she's super strong, she can punch real hard to punch through platforms. Yeah, she's even gotten in scuffles with an underrated beast like Namor, taking blows from this guy. This also proves her strength, punching him, sending him flying because the battle isn't one-sided. Pretty much proving to Namor you should respect her strength. Notice how she's dubbed the strongest female of all. I love team up moments like Reed restraining this guy. Thundra comes and punches him out. Team up move with the thing. Her might can shatter Sandman like a sandcastle. Makes sense, right? It's just too much evidence of her strength and the things being similar. She can devastate tanks with her punches, then lift up a 60 plus ton tank and stuff. Throw it. Yeah, don't ask. They be chilling with Impossible Man. Not only that, she can throw him very far, showing her strength. This thick door is locked. Thundra doesn't care and rips it open. Things trying to bind her, she simply breaks out. Her chilling with the Fantastic Four, she's faced off against her fair share of brutes. Might as well call her a Fantastic Four member at this point. Teamwork punching this brute down, along with others helping. She even went to a workout area and lifted up the whole workout machine <laughs> with one arm. She punched Miss Marvel and sent her flying, even blasted by Vision. Proving she's in that powerhouse range, slugging it with Miss Marvel, aka Carol, in a little baby scuffle. Imagine roaming down the street and you're trying to mug somebody and she just overpowers and curb stomps you with ease because you're way inferior to her strength. In fact, she's so strong compared to everybody else, she has to follow a script to make the match entertaining so she won't curb stomp nobody. But people out here cheating and drugging her so they can actually get the advantage over Thundra because they know they can't get a win legitly. That being that beat her in a fight was Titania. She tricked her and drugged her. In front of everybody when the battle was supposed to be scripted. Strong enough to rip open locking caps. She fought the thing here where he was slightly injured. These two always fighting. Ain't they? And most of their fights is high difficult type of fight. Right? Like their fights are always pretty decently high difficulty. Meaning that she's not far away from the thing levels of raw power. Look at all these panels. It's just obvious at this point. She doesn't believe in doors. One of the many Superman copycats Hyperion she's fought. To further show her strength. Bulldozers these armed guards. Doesn't mind improvising when picking up other objects to knock stuff out of the air. Did I mention she can jump really high? Stated here to be the things equal yet again. Even Julia Carpenter's Spider-Woman tried to trap her with her psionic web. Thundra is strong enough to break out. Stupid cars. She's strong enough to make shockwaves to punch stuff in the air. Cracking the ground. Ripping car engines out. She seems quick to lash out and get angry. Especially if you mess with her loved ones. Can also lift heavy pieces of stone. Punching through brick walls is another day in a life for her. Or manhandling you and lifting you up with one arm. She Hulk was recruiting a group of female powerhouse type characters. Like you can see her literally making a list. One of the beings happened to be the mighty Thundra to take on Red Hulk. To show that yeah, she's a worthy female powerhouse with She Hulk and Valkyrie tears. The artist for this book needs a reward though. She may have not taken on Red Hulk one on one here, but has different equipment or gear she can use on top of her strength and chains to do some damage to him. Working together on Red Hulk, they actually got him down for a couple seconds. She's one of the rare people that's willing to take people out or do whatever is necessary. For those that still have their doubts, she actually got a full-blown comic book with the Incredible Hulk himself, where the two box it up 1v1. Thundra is impressed by the might of this beast. She likes worthy opponents, though, and Hulk is definitely a worthy foe when it comes to brute power. This is one of the rare times where Thundra actually admits she says she cannot beat the Hulk, but the Hulk does admit that she's strong like I showed you earlier. Pulls up on this elephant man being Lady Liberators, locking arms with a being clearly bigger, meaning she's way stronger than she looks, obviously. Her skin is durable enough to withstand getting shot. In this particular comic, chilling with the Hulk type characters like Red Hulk. Then simply matching strength with Samson when he was in like a powered up, overpowered state. Watch a video about Doc Samson on my channel as well. Lifting big rocks is easy to her like this. This girl pulled up on Hyperion, a powerhouse tier, and had like a literal flirt fight. You see her smiling because of course he's a Hulk Thorish level being, so she attracted to beings this strong. That escalated quickly. Oh my god. Hit Iron Man so hard, went against the wall, even in his new suit. An interaction that I think we all thought would never happen between her and Blue Marvel. He's one of them super top tiers when it comes to power, physicals, and stuff. She got slung. She has the strength to accidentally tear apart pieces of the building. 
I honestly think she would love to hang out with Goku and Vegeta. She's always finding an excuse to fight. This is one of the rare times you see like a little fighting cloud in Marvel comics. This is usually in like Looney Tunes type of stuff. Being a match for the Thing is impressive considering how the Thing faces off against beings like Hyperion. Even comparing the Thing's blows to Thor, since Hyperion has history with Thor that seems valid. The Thing is also busted out of adamantium chains because of his raw strength. The Thing is one of those characters that is a, like a friendly rival to like a chill Professor Hulk. And casually can withstand nuclear explosions, just sit through it like it ain't even hit him. And as you can tell by this video, Thundra and the Thing have a history when it comes to fighting to prove she's on this strength level. I mean, it just makes sense at this point. After all, the Thing is the same being that can withstand a hydraulic press that could drill through a planet, not only endure it durability wise, but then destroy it with its strength, push it past him. And this is who Thundra can consecutively boxing it out with so it lets you know how strong she is unfortunately thundra is one of those characters where she doesn't have that many appearances but based on all these occasions i've shown you in this video she should be at least in the medium powerhouse ranges at least a calm hulk level strong type of being you know i would say sensational a calm sensational i would say she's stronger than that but like she wouldn't be necessarily be as strong as like an angry hulk right maybe it's somewhere in between calm and an angry hulk level around that range you know She's actually one of those super strong people that actually knows how to fight and actually do takedowns and stuff. We've seen her slap around the thing in plenty of scuffles. She reminds me of a female Saiyan warrior that just loves the battle. You can also get an idea of her power by the characters she's associated with, like being on a female-led team with a Valkyrie, Invisible Woman, She-Hulk, and etc. Them working together to fight Red Hulk. Don't judge me, but I'm actually a big fan of Thundra and the Thing's relationships, but that's none of my business. She has less than 100 comic book appearances. I put all this together myself, going from comic book to comic books, but I also got to give a very fast shout out to everybody that has took time to donate to the channel. Helps out a lot, believe it or not. Respect Thundra. I'm glad you are enjoying your time on the channel. Make sure you check out the playlist on the channel to see other House Strong videos. If you like what this channel is offering, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys later.